this year has just been a very big year for changes. And I think the 31 day drawing challenges I do every couple months really chronicle that nicely. Illustrations was the first major challenge. Basically the entire time I really wrestled with perfectionism. By wrestle I mean perfectionism had me pinned and I completely burnt out. When Inktober came around I realized okay I really have to address this problem. I cannot have another Illustrations. And so I did Inktober drawings literally whenever I felt like it and did not push myself in the slightest. Obviously Inktober was not supposed to be the final thing. That was more just to help me not care so much if I missed a day or if something wasn't absolutely perfect. Here comes the real test because we're back to my yearly tradition of doing Drawsember and what I'm trying to do with Drawsember is really see if I can do all 31 days but do them where I'm not putting an unnecessary amount of pressure on myself. Because the thing is, the era of super detailed daily drawings, it's just over. I just, I just don't have time for that anymore. I'm just so excited and so ready for December. I've set this up to be a good month. This is definitely a lot different than how I felt going into illustrations. I felt very uncertain. Not this time. Not this time. <laughs> I'm actually planning ahead, which I've like never ever done before basically. Today I am going to write down a list of ideas just to like fall back on. In illustrations, you might remember that was a big problem is it just I didn't have any idea of what to draw. When it comes to having to change the way I approach challenges, like I said, one of the biggest things is just time. I would love to do my really, really detailed realism for some challenges. Um, but the fact is, I just can't anymore. You see, when I started doing the art challenges back in December 2016, like, I basically just didn't have a life. I could afford to spend the whole day working on an art piece if I wanted, basically. Now, it just could not work, practically speaking. I think that was one of the things I mistakenly did not take into account with illustrations. Like, I was expecting it to take longer because I was really new to the style I was doing. What I didn't take into con consideration was the fact that I didn't have the same amount of time either. I already have an idea for today. I am drawing these salamanders here. Um, as you can see, I've already done a collar thing a bit jiggy, seeing how the colors interact with each other. I've done a bit of the positioning. I'm just so excited. Usually I would have spent many, many more hours trying to think of something a little more interesting, either more interesting or more detailed, because if it's not super interesting you gotta have just to throw in all of the possible details you could possibly come up with i think we're already seeing the effects of my inktober experiment working out so we're off to a good start i want to quickly quickly go over the rules here because there's only really one yes i have things that i want to do like uh planning the day before but there's only one thing that I'm really putting my foot down on, and that's the bedtime rule. I have this for October as well. I could not work on my drawings after 11.30. This time it's gonna be a little harder though, because I am moving that bedtime to 9.30, which I think is gonna be quite a challenge indeed. As you can see, for day one, I immediately went to my sketchbook here and started um, trying to figure out the colors and drawing thumbnails, and it just seemed natural to me. And it's actually kind of funny because I've never really been big into thumbnailing or planning at all. And with illustrations, no thumbnailing was involved. If I pictured anything at all, it was just in my head. I think that was another one of the big problems with illustrations. I was like expecting to come out with these good compositions even though I hadn't planned them at all. Almost as if I was doing realism where I can just take a photo and there's the composition already made for me. Like I didn't even plan for this to happen. But here I am, day one of Drawsember and I'm thumbnailing like I've done this my whole life. 
it really just makes sense to do it anyway. But yeah, it wasn't the plan for day one. It wasn't really the plan to do this any day, but I saw this first one. I took a picture of it and it just looks so aesthetic. It's just like, you know what? I should do this every single day and um, that's exactly what I did from there on out. And really it was just one of the greatest things. It's definitely helped things go a whole lot smoother. Even though sometimes I'll do a bunch of thumbnails and I'll be like, eh, I don't really like any of these. But then I still have the information knowing, okay, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. So even if I decide eventually, you know what, I'm done with thumbnailing, I just want to jump in and do something, then I still have a better idea of what I'm aiming for, even though I didn't get a thumbnail that I was like, yes, this is the one. The thumbnailing page I did for day two of Drawsember has got to be one of my favorite ones. I just really like it because you can sort of like see my thought process going on. Um, in the first page, there's not a lot of difference from composition to composition, but for this one you can kind of follow my whole thought process. It starts off with this guy and then I, I fool around with the purple background and I go back to the, the whole yellow idea up here. But <laughs> there's another reason why I really love um, this particular day. Around three years ago, my little brother, who is like Two at the time, mercilessly scribbled all across my wall and my door. But one of those scribbles, I just looked at it and I saw this dragon. Day three of Drawsember, um, I decided to do some flowers. They usually fall by the wayside. I could tell once I did these two, I was kind of done, but I can tell my heart wasn't quite so much into these two. The one problem I have with these thumbnailing pages is just that if this is a aesthetic, then I want this to be aesthetic, and if it's not, then it kind of bugs me, but like you just don't have time to worry over, over those things, and thankfully I think I, I learned that later on into the challenge. It's 9.51, I'm this far in the drawing, and there's no way I'm going to be getting this done within the next few minutes, so I am just going to have to leave it till um tomorrow morning. I really hate to do this. Uh, it just it just bugs my perfectionistic self so much. But gotta stick to those rules. Plus, I I am really feeling the need for a break right now. I've been working on this for the past few hours. Um, so hopefully I can finish up really quick tomorrow morning because one thing I am kind of afraid of if I get a backlog and I end up working on this tomorrow morning and then that puts that day's drawing on hold and then it goes over to the next day. I don't want to have that sort of mess to deal with. It's funny how much things can change in just a few days. Before this challenge, I would have been far more concerned with getting the drawing done before bedtime, even if that meant staying up past 12. But essentially, staying up late to finish a drawing is the same thing as going to bed on time and finishing it earlier in the morning. If you're staying up to 12, you're staying past the day you're technically supposed to have it done anyway. The only real difference is that staying up late is a far worse decision. I have a sore throat.